Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in HitPaw Photo AI and I've got some very cool things I wanna show you guys. This is a very good tool, a good AI tool, and I'm gonna show you how to do six techniques using this tool that you're going to love. I've already got the first one loaded up here. This is an AI upscale and enhancement, and it is fantastic. If you look here on the left side, I've got an image of my friend George. It's a 900 pixel by 900 pixel. It's very low resolution. It's got some blur in there, a little bit of artifacting, kind of noisy, not a great image. It's older, it is what it is. On the right side though, I have upscaled and enhanced it by 800%. So it's gone from 900 pixels by 900 to 7200 by 7200 and it is crisp and sharp and fantastic. I'm gonna show you how to do this and I'm gonna show you how to do it in three different styles with three different modes. So if you want sharp, if you want soft, or if you want something in between. I'm gonna show you that first. The second thing I'm gonna show you is this right here. I've got an old image of Abraham Lincoln. This is, I believe, a daguerreotype, one of the first pictures ever taken. And I'm gonna show you how to colorize it and go from black and white to color with one click, as you can see that I've done here. And it's done a fantastic job. The third technique I'm gonna show you very quickly here is the low light model enhancement. So if you have an image that was taken in the dark or it was in a very dark out, I'm gonna show you how to very quickly take a dark image like this on the left and make it nice and bright and much more amenable on the right side. The fourth technique I'm gonna show you is this one here and it's removing noise from a noisy image. Left side here, you'll see we've got a very noisy kind of staticky image on the left, on the right side, nothing like that at all. The noise is literally gone. It's smoothed out, it looks fantastic. The fifth technique I'm gonna show you is this one here. We're gonna take on the left side, a very bland kind of boring shot here. Everything's kind of the same color. And we're gonna make it nice and vibrant. On the right side here, you'll see we've increased the saturation. We've got a nice bluer sky. Again, we're gonna do all that with one click piece of cake. And then the final thing here, you'll see it in one second. And you'll obviously see what we're doing here is we're gonna remove scratches from old images. So if you've got an image that's got, you know, some damage to it, and then you wanna get rid of it, well, literally one click here on the left side is the original, the right side is the fixed. All of these things can be done with HitPaw Photo AI. Let's get into this and go through them one by one. It should only take a couple minutes. All right, so the first step here is you gotta get the software. We gotta go download it. So very quickly, I'll put a link in the description below but you just wanna to go to hitpaw.com and then photoai.html. When you get to this website here, you get a few options. You can buy it outright. If you know you're ready to buy, click on buy. If you want to try it free, just click on this here. You'll notice that I am using a Mac, but there are Windows versions and other various versions. So go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, it'll ask you to download it. Just accept the download and then now let's open the software and get cooking all right so when you open up for the first time here you'll see here on the left side we've got a few different options i'm going to work with the ai enhancer to start here so i'm just going to go ahead and click on choose files and then for this one i've got an image here let's work on my buddy's image of george here and again if you look carefully it says 900 pixels by 900 pixels I'm gonna click on open and presto, we've got to work here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the green little plus button there, the little green, well, the little green increase size button. And now we can see it a little bit better. Quick look here, if I zoom in here, it's a little blurry. It's just like I showed you earlier, but we wanna enhance this and upscale it. We wanna do it pretty quickly here. So how do we do it? Right side here under face model, there are three options. I'll be honest with you, I believe soft V2 is the best one. But if you want really crystal clear, sharp, you know, kind of looks like it belongs on a magazine cover, you can go with the sharp style. But I'm gonna show you a soft V2. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna go ahead now and just click on preview here, right at the bottom middle. And then watch this, it's gonna cook it. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got and let's go. All right, so there we go. First pass at it, we've already got a much better image here. Now, if you look over on the right side here, and I'll zoom in a bit here. I mean, it doesn't, you don't have to, as long as your eyes work, you can see how much of a better job it's done here. But look at this at the bottom right here. You'll see here that the resolution is 400%, but I can in fact double this. So if I wanna go to 800%, I can go ahead and click preview again, go through that process one more time if I want a really high resolution version, 
and it's so fast it's pretty much already done. I don't even have to log out here and click out and say, hey, come back. And presto, look at that. This is fantastic. This is one click. That's all there is to it. Let's get on to the next technique. All right, here we go. So the second thing I'm going to show you is the black and white to color that I did with Abraham Lincoln. Super easy to do. I'm going to click on this plus sign like I always do here. And then it's going to go to my movies form folder. Part of me. I'm going to select this Abraham Lincoln image here. I'm going to click on open and there we go. We've gone ahead and opened up Mr. Lincoln. Now I'm going to go down here a little bit here to the colorize model. And when I do that, you get two options, black and white and old photos. In this one, I really like the look of old photos, but you can of course try both styles. I'm going to select old photos and then literally all you got to do now is click on preview. It's going to take a few seconds here to cook this up. It's already already done like that took maybe four seconds. That was unbelievable. And presto, there we go. We have literally one click turn a black and white photo, an old daguerreotype into a color photo, just like that. Also, before you hit export, something you may want to consider is you can go ahead and drop this resolution meter down here too. So if you want to not only colorize it, but upscale and image enhance it, you can do that as well. So if I wanted it like this, I would click on export. If I wanted to go ahead and increase and upscale it, go ahead and do that and then click on export. Just something to keep in mind. All right, let's get on to the next technique. All right, the next technique I want to show you is just basically how to brighten up a dark image. If you took a shot out at night and maybe you had the wrong lens on or there wasn't enough light out, it's very simple to do with HitPaw Photo AI. I've got my image loaded up here. It's pretty dark here except for the sky. All you got to do here is go to the right side click on low light model and then when you do that go ahead and click on preview when you do that it's just going to go ahead and add a little bit of lighting into the dark parts into the shadows and that's it i'll come back when it's done should be done quick and then we'll see what we got all right looks good to me so you'll see here on the left side quite dark here you can't really tell any of the details of the lady taking the shots and on the right side it has come out a lot better also keep in mind again that this could be upscale. So if you want to go 800% upscale, you could literally get a 12,000 pixel by 16,000 pixel, just like that. Click on export and it is done. All right, let's look at the next technique. All right, so the next technique is noise removal. It's easy to do, but it is incredibly impressive. This is a one click solution. And this is why I like this so much. Again, using Hip Hop Photo AI. So I found what I think is probably one of the noisiest images on the internet. I literally went and found the, the hardest one. And here we go. I've got it loaded up here. All you got to do is go to the right side, select the denoise model, and you can either go ahead and do it as is, or you can go ahead and select resolve line issues. This attempts to resolve image line issues. And yeah, let's just take a look here. If you go in here, like this image here, They've got lines all over the place. We've got lines in her looks like corded pants and her scarf there. So let's just go ahead and select that anyway. And then the next step here is you can either preview it or again, you can increase the resolution. So we can take it from a 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel to a 4000 by 4000. So let's just do that. Let's go ahead and enhance, upscale and remove the noise with one click. I'm going to click on preview. Should take a few seconds. Come back when it's done. Show you what we got. Wow, I didn't even have to leave. It was that quick. And look at this. I mean, literally in two seconds, we've gone from this on the left side to this on the right side. And again, I can't even stress how crazy this is. Look at that. The noise is completely gone. It's absolutely nuts. That's another really cool technique that you can use, especially if you got some old images that could use a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of tender love and care. So there we go, guys. Now I'm going to show you another technique. Let's go. All right, guys. So this is a quick one here. But if you've taken a shot or you've got a photo that's underexposed or it's lacking contrast and lacking saturation, you can literally just go ahead, load an image up like I've done here on the right side, click on color calibration. I'm going to go ahead and use the denoise model as well. You can use both. And literally, I'm actually going to go ahead and just click on preview. But again, before I do that, look at this. Again, 200%. I'm going to go ahead and upscale and AI image enhance this both. Then click on preview. It should take just a few seconds here. And then presto, when this is done, I'm going to show you what we got. You're going to love it. All right, we did this again with one click. And if we just zoom in a little bit and just take a look, look at that. On the left side, we have a flat, kind of dull image. 
On the right side, you can see the dark greens. You can see a lot more contrast, a little more verdant. And if you look up here at the sky, the sky has a nice darker blue to it. And there you go. We've done that with one click. We've added in some color, made it a little bit more lively and popping. That's all there is to it. Now I'm gonna show you a final technique on how to remove scratches. Let's go. All right, the next thing I wanna show you, it's kind of two things really, but basically how to remove things from images that you don't want, whether it's a background using the BG remover or object removal if you have something in there that you just don't like. So let's go ahead and remove an object. So I'm gonna click on object removal on the left side. I'm gonna click on remove now. I'm gonna find an image with something in it that I don't like. So. In this case, I'm gonna select that image of the llamas. We've got three llamas in this image, but watch this. You'll see here that there's a chair here, but there's no llama in it. So let's get rid of the chair. Super easy to do. There's a couple ways to do it. You can use the brush. This is the way I'm gonna do it, but you can also just sort of draw a little box around it or a rectangle. That might work just fine. And in fact, that actually did a really good selection. So that's the one way. The other way is to grab the brush tool. And then you'll see here that as I increase and decrease the size of the brush, I can just sort of brush away whatever I don't want. That's what I don't want. We've selected it. Just hit preview and it'll do a quick cook up and then we'll just export it. All right. So it's gone and it's done a fantastic job. There's no chair there. And if you ever want to get it back, you can hit command Z on a Mac or control Z on a PC. And you'll see here that there it is. It's back again. And there you go, guys. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Now let's remove a background real quick. All right, so background removing is even easier. You just have to do one click, except you don't even have to use any brushes, really. So here we go. Left side, BG Remover. Click on Remove Now. It asks you to select an image. I've got a whole bunch. Let's select this cute little puppy dog here. We want to get rid of the background. We just want to keep the puppy, as you can imagine. It's going to quickly load up. When it's loaded up, I'll show you the next step. All right, that took no time at all. Now, you'll look here. You'll see here that it's done an amazing job. Like, if we zoom in... Basically, it's job done. However, if you feel that you want to add in some details or there's some parts that you'd like to keep in the image, you can go ahead and just hover over here and select the brush. And then if I was to like, let's say brush around, I don't know, you want to brush in some of this stuff here up at the top, look at on the left side, you'll see here that I'm bringing that back into the image. So this is just purely optional. But that is literally all there is to it. It gets rid of backgrounds, plus it allows you to do masking so that you can keep parts that you would like to keep. It's that easy, guys. Click on export, job done. All right, let's keep cooking. All right, everybody, in this one, you'll see here we've got an image with some creases and some scratches, some rips in it. And I'm gonna show you how to repair it and upscale, enhance it all in one go here. So here we go, I've loaded it up here. On the right side, one of the models is scratch repair. That's obviously the one we want. I'm gonna check face model again because A, why not? You could run two models at once and there's a scratch or a crease right through the face. So let's just go with that. Lastly here on the right side under resolution, keep in mind that if you go with 100%, this is a very low resolution image. It's 423 pixels by 450. I want to upscale and enhance it 800%. So we're gonna do both of this. We're gonna fix the image and then we're gonna upscale enhance it all in one crack. I'm gonna click on preview. It should take just a few seconds. It's going really, really fast. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got. Let's go. All right, welcome back. So look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. We went ahead and upscaled it. We enhanced it and we removed the scratches and creases, including the one tricky one that went through his eyebrow here and over the top of his head. It's absolutely all gone. They're, they're pretty much history. Guys, this is what Hitpop Photo AI can do for you. It is 100% worth a look. You get a few free image generations to try for free so you can test it out and see how it works. If this works for you, download it, give it a try. Let me know what you think in the description below. Thanks for watching.